Welcome to our review on detecting cations, the flame tests. So the first thing we're really going to consider is where we see these very pretty colours that we generate from burning chemicals. And hopefully one place that you do think of that we see lovely bright flashes of colour is good old fireworks night. So what we actually find there is that as the firework burns or explodes, then the metal ions that are contained within it are vaporised. So as a result of that vaporizing, then they absorb energy and the electrons present within their structure jump to these higher electron shells. As those electrons then drop back to their normal electron shell, then we're going to have to release some form of energy. And the way we release it is as light energy, and that's transferred to the surroundings as radiation. The important thing here is the actual color that the flame burns with because the colour that we get is actually going to be used to identify what metal ion we have present. And the way that we can then bring that whole idea of different colours represent different metal ions to identifying things is through the process called a flame test. So you do need to know the actual procedure for this. First thing we're going to do is we get a nichrome wire loop. If you can't remember the word nichrome, don't worry, you can literally describe it as a wire loop and you'll still get the marks. So we need to clean that wire loop first of all. And the way we do that is we dip it into some concentrated hydrochloric acid and then we hold it in the Bunsen flame until the flame stops changing colour. Because that then tells us we've got nothing on the loop itself. Once we've cleaned the loop, we then dip it into our test solution. If it's a powder, you need to moisten the loop first with a drop of distilled water, then dip it into the powder. Once we've got our solution or our powder on there, you hold the loop in a roaring flame and you note the colour at which it burns. Unfortunately, you do need to remember some colours and the metals that they refer to. So there are five you've got to remember. Lithium burns with a red flame. Sodium is a yellow one potassium, lilac, calcium is an orangey red, and copper is a green blue colour. So make sure that you do learn those, put them on a little flashcard with the name of the metal on one side and the flame test colour on the other, and just test yourself to make sure you do know those five. Don't forget if they ask you to evaluate a potential source of error in this experiment, then the most likely one is that you've got a contamination situation occurring. So you could have your loop not cleaned properly, so you're getting more than one colour burning there. Or you could have two different chemicals mixed together for some reason. Hopefully at the end of this video, you can now describe how to carry out flame tests and how to interpret them.